peace and freedom for all A dark night has arisen, but where does he hail from? Fight to free all liberty Slashing down oppressors to set our people free His name is Zorro before we got back to California. <laughs> so you were in Mexico City? Did you see the palace of the Viceroy? I did. Wait, you're here alone? Where's Diego? Hasn't he come back from Spain yet? Diego hasn't gotten up yet. You know him, a sleepy head since he was born. I remember the day he made this Chumash bracelet for me. Yes, I remember that day well too. You fell off your horse because of one of his totally ridiculous bets. <sighs> my father nearly chopped my brother to pieces. <laughs> oh, Diego. He was feisty and afraid of nothing. He hated being locked up indoors, reading books. He was so very handsome. <sighs> you know, Diego has changed a bit. Hush, not one word now. I like surprises. <laughs> Father! Diego, great news, my boy. I just saw Don Luis. His daughter, Carmen, is back. Carmen? How is she? You can ask her yourself. You and I will go pay them a visit. How about having your wedding after the harvest? Yes, you'll see. This one will unite our two families and be a historical moment for California. Hmm. Uh, wait, uh... I just barely got back from Spain. Isn't it a little early to talk about marriage? You don't want to get married? Fine then, we'll start with an engagement party. You hear that, Gonzalez? Carlos has swordfish on the menu. Uh, hmm. Well, soldier, you go inspect the stables while I, uh, while I go inspect the swordfish. Uh, <laughs> but, Sergeant... Don't sergeant me! Those stables had better be perfectly clean. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Garcia? No. Oh. Good sir! Yes, Captain! Still interrogating the locals? Have you found anyone who knows where Zorro is? Uh, still haven't found anyone who knows, Captain. Well, ask everybody. Surely you'll find somebody who knows something. Oh, I know! I'll go ask all the employees and the guests at the inn. <laughs> Garcia! Garcia! <laughs> <laughs> Brush hard, Sarge. These stables must be perfectly clean. <laughs> that man, take him in for questioning. I'll interrogate him. Yes, sir. What? Where are we going? You're asking me? The army has fallen into disgrace since I left. Uh, will Monasterio ever stop harassing the people in this land? Oh, how I detest that man! Mm. Ooh, have you heard about that Zorro? <laughs> More than heard! I actually saw him the first time he showed up in public. Lucky you! Don Luis, I wasn't aware that your daughter was back among us. Senorita, you are a sight for sore eyes. <gasps> hmm. Los Angeles is most fortunate to have the two loveliest roses in all California. Uh, 
Captain, you're exaggerating. Not me. Not by one single syllable, my lovelies. Hmm. Uh, Captain, my daughter and I must return to our hacienda. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Violonga won't act so cocky after I've had my say. Neither will the girl. you. Uh, what? Uh, Are you saying I used to be ugly? No, you've never been ugly. You've always been, uh, you always, I, I mean, uh, pretty. Pretty? And here I thought you'd have learned fancier words at college. I shall have to lend you a few books. <laughs> Hello, Don Luis. Hello, my friend. Aren't they sweet together? Let's leave them alone and go make wedding plans. <laughs> I'll have to add a few rooms to the hacienda for our future grandchildren. Uh, going overboard, aren't they? Right. Wonder what put that idea in their heads. How could you... You and me? What an odd idea, right? <laughs> We're two good friends. We've known each other for so long. For too long, perhaps. California has changed since we were children. Monasterio has made life more difficult for everybody. What are you planning to do to defend us? Huh? Nothing. What? Diego de la Vega! Shame on you! It's a good thing we have Zorro! Uh, oh no, please. Don't tell me you're one of his admirers, too. At least he's a man with courage and spunk! You still act like a little boy! That's awful. What is it? It's ugly. Threadbare, worn out. Worse, it clashes with your dress. You should get a new one. Mm. Uh, I don't want a new one! I... Oh, you are such a bother! Just go home! <sighs> <laughs> huh? Carmen Diego. <laughs> Captain, what good wind brings you to see Don Luis? Military business, Don Diego. Really, Diego? What came over you? Don Luis is my best friend. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Father, but I was bored to tears back there. I can't wait to be in the Hacienda to read my favorite poems. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I guess I did go overboard. Oh, I guess I'm not used to staying up without a square meal. What is this important matter you wish to discuss, Captain? Don Luis, there's talk in Los Angeles that you openly criticize me. Hmm. Says who? Those poor innocent people you randomly arrest for questioning? Surely you know that for insolence like that, I can have you arrested on the spot? However, I'm here to make a proposal. I want to marry your daughter. <gasps> Carmen? Absolutely. It would prove to everyone that you're loyal. <laughs> hmm. And would make you a rich <clears throat> landowner one day. I'm warning you, oh? Violonga. If Carmen doesn't become mine, I'll ruin you. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be back to woo the little darling. Get out, Captain. I suggest you receive me with all the honors due to a man of my rank. Father, I heard you both. What will become of us? Don't worry, darling. I would never betroth my daughter to a bandit. Uniform or no uniform. Diego, have you been out in the sun too long? Why did you say such silly things to Carmen? Because Zorro can't ever get married. Look, Carmen is marvelous. I would have loved to spend all day with her today. But if I marry her, she'll find out who Zorro is, and then she'd be in danger. Ah. It's better to keep her away from me, for her safety. Huh? <laughs> hmm. 
Diego de la Vega. <gasps> Good morning, Father. Sleep well? Good morning, Ines. If you do not go back immediately and talk to your fiancé and apologize on bended knee, I shall kick you out of the house without your poetry books. Mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> yes, Father, I promise. Today, Carmen will hear my guitar and my song, begging her forgiveness. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Uh, if Ines hadn't told me you were deaf, I'd give you all kinds of messages to tell Diego. What a cad. Sending you instead of coming himself? Oh, I'd like to sink my nails into him. Thanks, Bernardo. Carmen's quite pleased. She very <gasps> much enjoyed the music. Oh. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 No eating the flowers, naughty horse. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bernardo. Hey, these flowers aren't for you. They're for Senorita Carmen. Hands off, or my captain will flay us both alive! Oh, I, 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 oh. Uh. Huh? I'm sorry, Captain, hmm. but I get the feeling Senorita Carmen may not like cut flowers. Hmm. Flowers? I can't stand flowers. Ah, oh, how pretty! <laughs> 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 This. Garcia! Yes, sir! Yes, Captain! Gather all the men. We'll go visit Villalonga. I'm going to bring that arrogant family to heal. Huh? <sighs> Hello, Doña Ines. We work, 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 night and day, just like slaves. Oh, why do we have to arrest everyone at Villalonga's? <gasps> Gagging. Oh, move it! Move it! You can't do this. 
Captain's orders. We're taking everybody in. We'll be interrogating them about Zorro. And we'll take as long as we need to through harvest oh. time, if need be. Our crops would be lost. You want to ruin me? <laughs> oh. Don Luis, help us. Get out of the way. You can't do this. I'm with you. Don't worry, men. I'll get you out of this. <laughs> halt! Hands up! <laughs> Hurry! Senorita. <gasps> <laughs> Captain, what are you doing here? I've come to pay homage to the future Signora Monasterio. Oh? Where might she be? Do we have another guest in the house? You are just like your father. You people think you can get away with anything because you're high-born rancheros. But I'll put you in your rightful place. Zorro! Captain? Oh! Senorita, forgive me for coming into your home without having been invited. But I do believe my friend the captain needs some advice and gallantry. Oh, home guard! <laughs> the key to unlocking a lady's heart is patience. <laughs> 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 Women like poets. Did you know that, Captain? Maybe you should try telling her about the beauty of the stars. <sighs> Maybe you should just <laughs> shut up! <gasps> Zorro! <sighs> Got you, Zorro! <laughs> 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 Must be a sword fight in there. Zoro! Oh. Uh. Oh. Fire! What are you waiting for? Huh? Shoot that out! Hey! Uh, not in the house. We might damage something. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Captain! I'm coming! Hey! Me first! <laughs> Lancers, block all exits. Yes, sir. On guard. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> we got him, we got him! And watch this! <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> got it! Garcia! <laughs> 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 you idiot! Thank you, Sergeant! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Give up, scallywag! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Grab that man! You're done, Sorrow! <laughs> Captain, I suppose it's time to bid you adios, but I'll always be available should you need another lesson in gallantry. <laughs> 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 Adios! 
Sign of Zoro, Captain. He's mm. vanished, and the Peonis have vanished too. Your friend saved your skin this time, Don Luis. Maybe he won't be there the next time. Hmm. <laughs> Back to the garrison. Move out. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Senorita. Hmm. Before leaving, I wanted to be sure you're all right. Uh, I do want to thank you for your help, Senor Zoro. <laughs> oh! I shouldn't accept this, but you have risked your life for us. Please be more careful, sir. <sighs> <laughs> I won't let anyone catch me. I can promise you that. <laughs> Hurry, Tornado! Like the wind! One last bounce, Captain. It's raining swords, Excellency! Captain, what is the meaning of all this? This was a warm-up. You scored quite well, by the way. Do not patronize me. Captain, you lasted eight and a half minutes against, well, me. Ahem! Apologies. Don Esteban Parasol, Viceroy of California. Allow me to introduce the legendary fencing master of Monterey... Maestro Antonio Ramirez de la Poterna. <laughs> Don Diego de la Vega. Very impressed. And this is my friend Bernardo. Hmm. Given our recent... difficulties, I invited the maestro to Los Angeles to train the men in new techniques mm -hmm. to be Sergeant. used against Zorro, of course. He has humiliated your men. Hmm. Yes. And oh. thwarted every single one of your plans to ensnare him. Oh, that bandit was just very lucky, that's all. And bested you in each and every sword fight, did he not? And your point is? Uh, my point? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aha! I too could benefit from Maestro Ramirez's instruction. <laughs> so could you, Don Diego. You must be taught so you can face him! And everyone we trust, soldiers and rancheros, should also be made invincible! And what if that Zorro attacked the De La Vega Hacienda? Or another Hacienda? Or the palace? <laughs> that would be terrible, Viceroy. But it shall not happen. The only problem is, I am against using violence. It ruins spiritual harmony. Oh? <laughs> Why don't you say that to Zorro? Just enjoy it. Consider it... <laughs> exercise. Exercise? Under the scorching sun? In this dust and sand? <laughs> Come on, Don Diego. We have a deal. <sighs> a bit of exercise will do us no harm. See you tomorrow for our lesson. <laughs> yes, this pretentious fencing master deserves to be taught a lesson. Huh? I cannot risk being unmasked, so I shall show them the extent of my talent. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Pathetic. Worse than pathetic. Ah, very well now. You, soldier, are sure of winning against my grandmother. Frankly, Captain, you haven't given me much to work with. And still, you've yet to see the worst. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Uh, Who taught you to use a sword? My grandmother. Your grandmother, Sergeant? Where? In her kitchen? Oh, in her kitchen, too. But, mm. <laughs> but uh, Silence, uh, Sergeant! We've not come here to hear about your family uh, life. This Zoro must know every attack, every thrust taught by your very, uh, very basic, uh, archaic, uh, simplistic uh, repertoire. Uh, in short, Bad. Totally bad. Worse than bad. Badissimo. Pathetic. Appalling. So, we must teach you a new move. A secret thrust of my own invention that he cannot know. The Maestro's Thrust. On guard! Attack, Sergeant. But, uh, why me? Because you're a sergeant. Sergeant? Mm -hmm. Sir, huh? if the sergeant is not up to the task, I am at your disposal. What? You? A corporal? And who said I'm not up to the task? Uh, you did. Oh, that. That was a, a strategy. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. That, Sergeant, is your new secret thrust against Zoro. Sidestep his attack, switch hands, slice oh. down, slice oh. up, disarm, then uh. in for the finish. <laughs> Move, uh, Sergeant. Oh. We haven't got all day. Yes, Captain. We'll try it at half speed. Oh. Hunger! Uh. Now switch! Got it! Oops! <laughs> oh. Oh, well, keep working on it. With some effort, you should nail it down. For the 20th century. At least, I hope so. You ah. better master Maestro Ramirez's instruction immediately. Uh, yes, Captain. Or you will find yourself back on laundry duty. Maestro! Maestro! On guard! <laughs> oh, I, I did it! <laughs> Captain! Maestro! Did you see? Uh, did you see I... <laughs> oh, at least you saw me, right, Gonzalez? I saw nothing. Huh? Nothing at all, Sergeant. All right, gentlemen. Well, Maestro, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Proceed. <laughs> Don Diego, that is a ceremonial sword? Ah, it is indeed. It was a gift from my father, Don Alejandro de la Vega. And it is completely inappropriate for sparring. Really? But it's so pretty. This is a real work of art. You should hang it up on some huh? wall. Let's just find you something a little bit more, um, suitable. Excellency, you say such frightening things. Do we really <clears throat> have to fight? So far, I'm not very impressed. I'll go easy on him. But Maestro, he'd take that as disrespect. No, you must treat him as if he were Zorro himself. As I would Zorro? But your Don Diego might not survive such an encounter. Hmm. I can live with that. No, this one isn't even shiny. Now, Don Diego, before I begin my instruction, I must assess your skill. So, raise your blade and prepare. Uh, uh is it supposed to be this heavy? On guard! Whoa! Ha! Ha! Hey! Is this quite necessary? It is, Don Diego. It's high time you improve your skills with the soul. These lessons have lost all entertainment value. I believe it is now time for me to take my leave. Oh? But, Don Diego, don't you want to improve your skills? What if Zoro attacks? Come on, you're nearly there. One can only hope that Zoro has the good taste to attack with a ceremonial sword. And then we may both stand there admiring our blades with no damage done. <laughs> Completely incompetent. Ready for your uh, lesson, Excellency? Me? Oh, uh, well, of course. <laughs> 
Oh, huh? but my lumbago is acting up today. Ah, uh, ah, uh, perhaps we could postpone my lesson? As you wish. By that time, perhaps De La Vega will be ready for lesson number two, when pigs fly. No, maestro. I'm afraid you've scared our good friend Don Diego away. What a pity. Hmm. Yes, such a good friend who gives up so easily. Yes, Captain. A friend who has just returned from Spain. And a very elegant caballero who honors us. Elegant? Indeed. Have you seen the way Senorita Carmen looks at him? <laughs> I bet you wish she looked at you that way. If the Senorita saw how he handled a blade, she wouldn't give him a second huh? glance. I must admit, poor Don Diego wouldn't last long in one of our famous competitions. <laughs> What a brilliant idea, sire! Is it? Absolutely. Zorro won't be able to resist showing up, too. And then, gentlemen, I know how to eliminate Zorro. No, I do. I did get the idea, after all. Brilliant! Oh. That sums it up perfectly. You know what, Captain? <laughs> I surprise myself every day. Oh. <laughs> 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 Captain Monasterio has organized a competition, a great fencing competition. Mm. Uh, uh, tomorrow at noon, in honor of Maestro Ramirez, the winner will receive as a trophy a beautiful oh. solid gold medal. Oh, thank you, Doña Maria. Uh, what a wonderful mm. cook you are. What a wonderful wife you would uh. make. Hmm? A soldier spends hours with his backside on his horse just to fulfill his duty without anything to eat. Ow! Ow! Oh. It sounds frightful. Frightful? Do you think so? Uh, shapely, yes. Impressive, yes. But frightful. Not your backside, Sergeant. The contest. It's scheduled for noon, but I never rise before two. But you have to take part in it. For the De La Vega's honor. That's just inhuman. <sighs> if the son will not compete, then the father should. <gasps> father, no. It's too dangerous. But Don Alejandro, would you worry your daughter by taking such a risk? I assure you, my father would do nothing. I'm huh? in. But father, you are too old for that kind of thing. Old? Me? <laughs> I'm still in my prime. Hmm. Fine, I will compete. Regretfully, but since it has to be done, I will compete uh. in our father's stead. And I will make sure no harm comes to Don Luis. Mmm! Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? oh, oh. Adios! Oh. Hmm. Senores, on guard! Ah! Sure, one peso. Do you want to put me out of business? The house doesn't do credit. Buy a favor. A favor to give your beloved. I also have some authentic lucky charms. The winner will take home the Medal of Honor, granted me by His Majesty, our good King of Spain in person. A treasure made out of real solid gold. Oh. Huh? Diego, don't you have someone special you'd like to give a favor to? Senoritas, it was impossible for me to choose between the radiance of two bright suns. There is no need, Father. The captain has already seen to it. Diego! <gasps> Ugh. Don't overdo huh? it. She's my friend. But you do know this is to protect her. <gasps> Get out! <laughs> I will be honored to escort you, senorita. How sweet of you. And now, <sighs> Senor Don Diego de la Vega against Corporal Ignacio Gonzalez. Gentlemen, on guard! <laughs> Diego, raise your sword! You're supposed to preserve the honor of the De La Vegas, not sully it. Father, I can't hold my sword and use my fan at the same time. <laughs> Diego, we've not gathered here to fan ourselves. Could Bernardo possibly do it then? I feel so hot. <laughs> if he could just stand behind me like that. Diego, look out! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
Diego, are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. This shirt is made of silk. Now it's stained, probably damaged beyond repair. Perhaps my Spanish soap uh, Quick, take me home, Bernardo. Not exactly a champion with the blade, <laughs> is he, senorita? Mm. The De La Vega's honor deserves far better than that. I shall uh, take part in this competition. Father, no! Well, my friends, that's one objective reached. You made a fool of your rival in front of the girl, but there's still no sign of Zorro. <laughs> Trust me, he'll be here. Quick, Bernardo. We mustn't keep our friends waiting. They are so eager to catch Zorro. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Bravo, my friend! Bravo! <laughs> and our semi finalists are Captain Monasterio and Don Luis Villalonga. So. Enjoying yourself, Don Luis? I am, Captain. In fact, I may just win the day. And our famous Maestro's Medal. Oh, will you now? <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> on guard! <laughs> 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 Uh, Captain, this is a friendly contest, not a fight to the finish. Still think you'll win the day, Don Luis? Uh, Enough! Stop this, Captain. Captain? Zoro, you are going to wish you hadn't come here to taunt me. I hope that I'm not too late. <laughs> oh, two against one. <laughs> you are really spoiling me. <laughs> oh, good work there. Ah, you've been practicing, Captain. I see the maestro's lessons everyone is talking about have not gone entirely to waste. Missed! <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, why? Is he wearing a silk shirt too? <laughs> so, Captain, how is the water? Get off me, you fools! No, Captain, my turn. Now, this is between Zoro and the Maestro. In other words, me. That is why I'm here. To see if Zoro can out Maestro the Maestro. Well then, on guard! 
You are good. I'll give you that. But I am even better. Zoro! Even if that were true. Huh? Oh, I do have other skills. For example, my penmanship. Huh? <laughs> then, there are my barbering skills. Maestro, you will be so much faster without that mustache weighing you down. Hmm? No! My mustache! You're welcome. <laughs> so, my fellow Angelinos, who has won the captain's contest? Oh, no! <laughs> Gracias, amigos! Soldiers, apprehend that fiend! Oh, captain, my captain! Have I overstayed my welcome? Sergeant, oh. the secret thrust! Huh? Whoa. Wow! Garcia, you executed that maneuver perfectly! Oh, do you really think so? Yes, it was brilliant! Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Adios! Adios, Zoro! <laughs> Garcia! Oh. Oh. What a lovely medal! Please do thank His Majesty for me, <laughs> but for now, I must be off. And you call yourself a maestro? What are you master of, huh? The art of the humiliating defeat? Oh, but I seem to recall he defeated you before <clears throat> me! What do you mean, you pathetic second-rate <laughs> fencer? <laughs> It's too bad Diego missed the show. I think it would have been educational for him. <laughs> I can't believe Zoro faced all those formidable swordsmen on his own. I still shudder at the thought. The sentiment huh? does you credit, senorita. <gasps> Zoro! <laughs> for the honor of the De La Vegas! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! <laughs> oh. Oh. Mommy! Mommy! Look! Oh, oh. oh. it's oh. it's sorrow! Yes, it is, Carlos. This mission is really and truly special. Sergeant Garcia, I very clearly remember the last three special missions and a few meals oh. that you never paid me for. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. So then... Sergeant? Ah, but this time, it's a secret hmm. special mission. And since it's a secret, you haven't seen me. I'm not even here. Oh, really? I have to join the captain. He's on his way back from Monterey with cannons to chase the Chumash off some land they're occupying. No, cannons? Oh, yes. Actually, just two cannons, you see. But uh, that's a secret. <laughs> Oh, come on, Carlos. You can't let a brave lancer from His Majesty's army go hungry, huh? <laughs> yes, I huh? can. Sergeant, you will leave here hungry. Now pay for the drink you finished in secret. You know, I'll have plenty of money soon, because I'm going to capture that Zorro. <laughs> Ah, Zorro! What? Oh. What's the matter, Dinah? 
Are you worried? Is a storm coming? I can sense something's coming our way. <laughs> no, can't be a storm. It's too sunny for a storm. Tyna, can I go for a swim? Sure you can. Show some respect, young cub. Hidalgo paint a picture. I'm painting it for you, Doña Maria, but it pales in comparison to the world's finest art, your cooking. Thank you, Diego. <laughs> Diego. Ines, what's going on? Bernardo heard Sergeant Garcia say Captain Monasterio went to Monterey to bring back cannons. What's he planning on doing? Bomb the Chumash village. Father. You should have told us that your guests were already here. Don Luis, Carmen, at last! The delicious smells from the kitchen have been hours of pure torture. Diego, did you paint this landscape? Yes, I did. Do you think it shows talent? I could have got into the Academy of Noble Arts. Hmm, <laughs> a painter in the family. We might as well have a flamenco dancer. <laughs> olé, olé! <laughs> Well, Father Diego's only teasing. It's just a pastime. Oh, Carmen! A little present from the three of us. Oh, Ines, it's magnificent. I had it sent from Spain. How sweet of you. I am so pleased. Really, thank you. I love it. I can't put up with these flies. Oh, I'm hungry. Starving. It's cruel to make us head out on empty stomachs. Oh. Oh, only shooing, oh, only shooing a fly, Captain. He's attacked Gonzalez. Silence, Garcia. You're up next for cannon duty. You too, Corporal. Hmm. <laughs> Let's conduct that test to see if our artillery can wipe out the Chumash village. The cannons from Monterey? Our army has become a bunch of marauding brigands. If all of us friends and rancheros pull together, uh. we can take their cannons. Hmm? Father, I beg you, be careful. You're right about that Captain Monasterio, but this is too dangerous. Oh, well, if I were Don Diego de la Vega, I'd make those awful tyrants back down. Yes, I'd rush in and destroy their cannons. Ines, you know I'm against any form of violence. I generally am too, Diego, but he's right in this case. I beg you, Father, please don't venture into such a risky plan. We're not no. afraid of those miserable lancers, nor of that fool Monasterio. Oh, my back. Oh, <gasps> your old wound, Father? I'm fine, darling. It's nothing. <laughs> they will not prevail. <gasps> Wow, impressive. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me, Doña Maria, but it's time to teach that Captain Monasterio a lesson or two. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's the perfect spot. Attention! At my command! First cannon! Fire! Second cannon! Fire! Silence, you fools! Let me savor the moment. <laughs> I can't wait to see the damage we'll inflict on that filthy Indian village. Diego, you haven't changed your mind? It's far too dangerous, Father. We're powerless against cannon fire. Please, don't go, Father. Take my scarf, Father. It'll bring you good luck. My dear, sweet little Carmen. Hurry home, and don't worry. Let's get going. Hmm. Come on, quick. <laughs> Oh! Hmm. You hear that noise? Huh? Uh, it sounds horrible. Shh, shh. Listen, there it goes again. That? Well now, Corporal, that's my belly growling. My belly and I are both starving. Silence! He'll hear you. Who will? Zora. Huh? I'll bet you he's nearby. Wah. Shh. They've all gone mad now, attacking the Lancers at their age. And Diego letting his father set out alone. Carmen, hurry back home. Oh, this is pure folly. I'll go back now and rescue them all. <laughs> Grilled meats, oh, a heap of frioles, beans. Uh. Sergeant Gonzalez, not good. <laughs> oh, my head! Oh. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Smothered in thick red chili sauce. Sweet Ines, what brings you here at this hour, dear? An ill wind, I'm afraid, Grandmother. Oh. and go get them! Yes, sir! Yes, Captain! Lancers! 
Doctor! Charge! Move it! Hurry it up! <laughs> They're well armed, but we've slowed them down. Let's retreat. Soldiers, attack formation. Go get those men. <laughs> I think you're some sort of Zorro? Hey. <laughs> what? No, because I am Zorro. Now, now, it's dangerous playing with a firearm, Captain. You might get hurt. You need an army now, my friend? I don't know who these horsemen are, but they did good prep work. <laughs> On guard, oh. Captain! Uh, You've lost your sword? How terribly sad, sir. Uh, uh, hold on, Captain! Uh, 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 uh. Idiot! Cretan! Nincompoop! <laughs> Here I am, Captain! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Take all the time you need. Lovely night, isn't it? Oh, a shooting star! <laughs> <laughs> Zoro, come back! Get him! Get him! Get him! Zoro, surrender! Get out. Sure thing, oh. Sergeant. <laughs> there he is. Mommy! <laughs> Hello, Captain! Sergeant Garcia, pincer formation! Catch him! Corporal, over here! Rally the men still by the cannons! Hey, you two, over there, while me and the others go to the other side. Yes, yes, Sergeant! Sergeant. Uh, pincer formation! Zorro! Zorro! Oh, good. He's run away, huh? <laughs> now we can go back to the others now. I want that man arrested! I want that man arrested! Catch him! I'm not really sure, Captain. I didn't have the time to get a good look. No, oh. no, I'm still here. You shouldn't have set out to get these cannons in Monterey, Captain. You'll be sorry you did. Hmm. Your goose is cooked. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant, follow him. Oh, 
and don't let him get away this time. Artillery, aim your cannons at that outlaw. Yes, sir. Can't see it. Attention! Uh, prepare to fire! Attack! To the right! To the right! <laughs> this way, guys! Speed up! To the left! To the left! <laughs> Tornado, ready? Oh, no! Cannons and fire at the fast match! If I were you, I'd take cover! Fire! <laughs> Buenos noches, Capitan! Yeah. Uh -huh. Put out that fire! She's going to blow! Uh -oh. Hold back the carriages! I said, hold them back, you ninja yes, fool! Captain. <laughs> Gonzalez! Ah. Oh. oh, I wonder how he did that. Shut up, you ninny. <laughs> We mustn't linger here, senorita. I recognized your father in the skirmish. He got away, but he dropped this as he rode off. <gasps> and the others? The rancheros? Don Alejandro? They're all fine. I can't say the same for Captain Monasterio and his cannons. Come, I'll keep you company. This area is infested with banditos. You're safe now. Adios! Who are you? You're better off not knowing. A smart fox stays in his hiding place, especially by day. I'm rather fond of foxes. <laughs> <laughs> you must have heard a thousand times you're ravishing. <gasps> we'll meet again sometime soon. I hope so. <gasps> Parting is such sweet sorrow, senorita. <laughs> Adios! <laughs> <laughs> 